There are two types of teachers in the world. The ones who hate their job and simply do enough to get by, and those who invest themselves in their profession, dedicated to education, and those who want nothing more than to learn. Teachers aren't paid much, they're not always respected, and they carry a disturbing stereotype with them each and every day. Those who can't do, teach. Our inspiration is someone that can do, and does, going above and beyond for our students, and genuinely caring for even the most minuscule aspects of their lives. AP English Literature and Composition teacher Lori Molitor is our inspiration because she is more than an educator. She's our mentor, our second mother, and, and our friend. friend. Uh, my name is Diana Burakmanova, Haver for AP Lit Language. Uh, my name is Jack Beckner, I'm a senior. Elsa Hansen. I am Mia Stevens, I'm a 12th grader at St. Joseph High School. I had her for um, 11th English Honors and AP with in a language this year as well. How would you describe Ms. Molotov? Oh my god. Like, words can't even describe her. Like, I, she's <laughs> so phenomenal. Like, she's understanding. Like, I call her mom. Like, she's like my mom in school. And she's just like, she's always been there for me. And I just love everything about her. You always get a laugh. I and mean, she always makes you feel comfortable. And, you know, she's always going to be there for you. She likes everybody. She likes to see you in her life. Just her in general. Because she's really quirky. And it's just, some of the things she'll say are just really funny. And, I mean, she's a really great person. She's really kind. And it's, you know, nice to have that as a teacher who actually understands what you're going through. She's really understanding of uh, the students' lives, especially because um, her son is one of her students. Um, so she understands what we're going through in terms of workload and scholarships and college and all that. So she's she's really conscientious of what we have to do as an individual, not just as a student. So I really appreciate that. She's almost like a second mom at school. It's kind of strange because she keeps like nagging you about things that you have to do. But yeah, she's great. What is uh, your favorite thing about the class? About the class? Um... <laughs> um, thing about the class is uh, can I skip my question? But I guess okay. My favorite thing about the class is that she's very uh, like she's just she's a very understanding teacher, and there's a lot of like interesting material that we cover in the class. That's my favorite thing. There's a lot of interesting material. <laughs> uh, Existentialism. <laughs> Can I just not? <laughs> okay. Well, define existentialism. Oh, please. <laughs> there is no definition. That's why it's like. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Do you have like any funny stories about this Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this didn't happen in my class, but Ashley's class, she, uh, we we're talking about the practice. Um, I guess they were watching the movie about the Congo and like all the stuff that happened there and uh, at some point Miss Malado's uh, like Travis water glass cup with the lid thing the lid the lid fell off the cup turned over and the lid fell off and the water went everywhere and um, Miss Malado was like this is the worst thing that has ever happened and they're just watching a video about the condom and all the like terrible war crimes. <laughs> <laughs> No, that, 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 that Tervis, though. <laughs> the Tervis is the worst thing <laughs> that has ever happened. So, yeah. She's just been a really nice, she's just been a really nice person, a great teacher. Um, one of my favorite English teachers. I mean, English is one of my favorite subjects, but she's honestly been a really good English teacher. I like to thank her for just, like, everything. Like, always being there, always being convenient. Because sometimes, at the last minute, I'll be like, can you do this? She'll be like, yeah, I can do it. And you know, just being very understanding about like each and everybody's situation, being very flexible, and just being fun. Like she's just amazing in all ways. Miss Molito, thank you so much for making us do all the things that we don't want to do, and <laughs> for understanding still that we have other things to do, and you know, getting work done and getting us prepped for this exam, not and not killing us in the process. And thank you for being just really kind and just really understanding and just really nice and funny even though you don't know it sometimes. Yeah. Thank you. I would definitely thank her for helping with all the college application stuff because I honestly would not have known what to do or when to do things or had a deadline 
to do things I probably wouldn't have gotten to college. So, fun stuff. Lori Molodell. Where were you born? Gosh, I was born in a small town in Pennsylvania called Williamsport. And where did you go to high school? Went to high school at, in that small town, at Williamsport Area Senior High School. And where did you go to college? Went to college in that small town. <laughs> and, and, and undergraduate school was uh, like I'm in college, a small four-year level arts school in Williamsport. And I went to graduate school in George Washington University. And where and how long have you taught? Gosh, okay, I started out at Kimsville High School in 1983. Uh, and I was there until I got married in 1990. 1983 started teaching. 91 got married and moved to Southern New Jersey where I taught for two years. And came back here in 94. And we've been here ever since. But what's your favorite class to teach and why? A, B, are you kidding? It's the best because I, because it, yeah, I never know what to expect. Um, my students teach me, I'm sure, way more than I teach them. Every day is different. Uh, the subject matter can change. Um, I can have a set plan and it can go in a different direction I never anticipated. But it all comes back to my students. The best job in town. What inspired you to pursue a career teacher? My third grade teacher. Terry Wright, and I was in love with her, you know, when you were little, and you just fall in love with your teacher, and everybody wants to sit by her at lunch and hold her hand at recess. She was just, oh, she smelled good, she was pretty, <laughs> she was nice, oh, I loved her, and she really, really inspired me, truly. What is it like to teach students on college? Oh, it's bittersweet. I love it because it's exciting, and I get to go through that journey with them. Um, and you see some students who get into their dream schools and they're thrilled, and some students who don't, and that's sad. And the bottom line is there's that feeling of um, coming full circle and having, having survived all this, this change and uh, doing, it, doing it well and having fun. And, um, and just then seeing them off. And just then, you know, we need to be passing on and things What do you think you would do if you were not?
2014-2015 school year coming to a close, it's necessary to take note of the extraordinary individuals who make students seeking success successful. Someone inspirational can be stumbled upon every day. It's simply vital to keep an eye out for them. An inspiration is someone who allows others to look at life with an open mind. Even if this said inspirational figure assigns two 650-word essays for homework on the first day of class. Those who believed in success attained it with the help of one truly unforgettable figure. Classes consisted of dissecting novel after novel, page after page of consonants and vowels, some offering ideas and beliefs students rejected and questioned. We learn from our teacher, our peers, and ourselves, and it's not an experience every, every year that we as students are privy to. You never understand a person until you consider things from his point of view, until you climb into his skin and walk around in it. We were pushed, we were challenged, we were forced to scratch our heads and think, hmm, we were supported. As high school graduates, our minds are open, all thanks to the bloodstained hands of Miss Lori Molido. And with our open minds, there is no doubt that we will continue to discover our success and even the darkest moments outlining our futures. Quirky, bubbly, and winsome, Lori Molido is someone we will never forget, for she is an integral piece of our adolescence.